Hello, I'm Dr. Nisikowski. Hi, I'm Julie. And so we did an unboxing of uh, Hidden Strike American Revolution. And right now I'm just checking to see if things are, are working right now. Because we're doing this live. And so we're going to do a, a, a how to play as best I can. And a playthrough. With, and we're going to do the co-op mode of this game. And this is by uh, Dr. Suckling and uh, Dorian Richard. Nice. So he contacted me and he was curious yep. to see how Julie would do with this game. And that's one reason why we backed it on Kickstarter because it has a whole bunch of different modes. You have solitary, uh, cooperative, which is what we're going to play now. Mm -hmm. You have mastermind and versus mode. Right? There might be even, oh, there's a trader mode too. Oh. All right. So let's take a look at what the object of the game is. Okay. So it's recreating the uh, American Revolution. And you'll see that you have six regions. So the object or the Americans is to uh, win four of the six regions. And right here, this indicates that the British break ties. So that's why winning three out of six isn't enough. we got to win four out of six. Now, how do you win a region? Well, a region is done by playing different cards. You'll see it's a hand management area control game. And uh, it's, it's a tug of war. So if you look at the long pieces here, these, I'll just take these off right here. That's worth three points, two points, and a, and a single one is worth one point. And so you need to have eight points on your side. So this would be the British side here of the box. This would be, a, I think they call it conflict boxes. Mm -hmm. So uh, they would have, that would be two, four. And if they brought in some dragoons, I think are those dragoons? I think so. Yeah, yeah. dragoons. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's see here, Hessians. That's eight points, right? Well, if I didn't have anything there, they would win it right away. And then the Mid-Atlantic. Uh, now, how they're going to get there is through cards, which I'll explain here in a minute. And then it would show British control. So we would have lost that region. However, we can get militia. And Minutemen there, and let's say we did get a regular in there, and, and uh, we were able to transfer uh, a Native American from this area here, and we uh, upgraded a unit. So that would be three, five, six, seven, eight. We'd be tied. So the only way you re win a region is that you have to have two more than the other side. So you have to you have to have eight points worth of units on your side, and have to have two more units than the other side. So if they didn't have that Hessian there, we would win that. That's eight versus six. And so then we would control that uh, or the vice versa, the eight versus six. Now let's say it's eight versus eight. You either find a way to remove a unit. There are some cards that do that, or you have to put more units in it. Now, the one thing that's important to remember as the Americans is that once you commit uh, your troops to an area and it's resolved, doesn't matter if it's British controlled or American controlled, there's only one card, the Declaration of Independence, that can can move a unit out of a resolved uh, area. Uh, typically, your units will be committed there, and they can't move again. The British, as you can see here, have so many units. I mean, they have overwhelming odds, and that's part of this game is to try. And just like how the war uh, went, when when they finally surrendered, they actually, actually the British actually had a bunch of troops in New York and the South, but they they basically figured out that. It wasn't worth fighting anymore. They were expending too much resources. Even though they had plenty of troops left to continue the war, it just wasn't worth the expense. Obviously, they would try again in the War of 1812 to take back the colonies. I don't know if you, mm -hmm. if you remember that. Mm -hmm. Not everybody studied the War of 1812. But they basically decided to cut their losses, even though they had plenty of troops. So that's what this game kind of simulates. Is that yeah, we have to win four regions. And even though the British will have overwhelming odds in other places, they still decided to to uh, sign the Treaty of Paris. Uh, all right, so you have, these are called local forces. So we, and these are the British local forces. They have loyalists and Native Americans. So both sides have Native Americans. That's how the war went. Uh, and these troops, and why are they assigned here in these boxes instead of over here? Because when there's opportunities for our allies, the Spanish, I think the Dutch and the French, uh, I have to look at those cards again. 
if they put a allied fleet here, one of our allies, that means that when a British card comes up, a British force card, they might not be able to assign, for instance, a, a Dragoon into that Mid-Atlantic if we're blocking it. However, if they get a, a fleet there, they break ties. So now they can get units in there. So, and why did I go into that? Because local forces are immune to blockades. So it doesn't matter if we have a ship here or not. These local forces will be able to go into the into the battle, uh, regardless of a blockade. So, uh, see if there's anything else. So this siege token here. This is one thing that someone pointed out uh, on the BGG forums, and I, I missed it too. Is that uh, there's a card that allows you to place a siege token, which means now you have to, a side will only win that conflict by tw uh, you have to have 12 units in the uh, battle. So why would you want to do that? Because you, you basically you're going to try to get the British to dump forces into a into a, a conflict here and directing them away from somewhere else. So that's one of the strategies that you try to get them to go into a place that's that's under siege, and then uh, so they may end up winning it with 12 versus 10, okay? But you've basically gotten them to get their for to commit their forces there, leaving other areas maybe that we can take advantage of. Mm -hmm. So one thing that that's mentioned that this is actually worth two a two point army that siege token. So this sits here and that will come up through a card. So the sequence of play it's very simple. We're playing co-op. Co if we were playing single, uh, solitary, you'd play Alexander Ham Hamilton here. So I'll show you here on my camera the difference between playing uh, uh, solit solitary and uh, cooperative. Is that you only have one card under solitary, and you can put more, you can deploy more cards in a uh, in a region. Immediately deploy another card from that region. So that's useful. But for us, because there's two of us, we're going to have two founders. Now, notice Benedict Arnold's in here. He did start out as a hero. He didn't turn coat until I don't know, about three years into the war. I have to mm. look it up again, two or three years. Uh, but that's when if you play the traitor version, even you, you, you depending on the number of players, you hand out different cards. And so even, again, this would be alternate history. Maybe George Washington might be the traitor. And Benedict Arnold would be still remain a hero. So we're going to get two of these cards, one each, I should say. And then so I'll be Thomas Jefferson and Julie will be Benjamin Franklin. So the other ones get put away. By the way, uh, you do get extra pieces in the game right here. Uh, these cards are not used. That's used in the versus mode. And here's some other cards here, like there's trader cards here that you won't use. How do you figure out what pieces you don't need, which are extra? When you first open up the game, what you do, which what I did and I recommend as well, is that you go through this chart on page four here and figure out how many units that you need to play with. And the nice thing is once you separate out all the units, it says what how many are needed right here on the side. Once you put it on the board, there shouldn't be any leftovers except this tie-breaking uh, token right here that you might use. I don't know what card does that. Uh, I don't know the deck as well uh, as I should, maybe. Mm -hmm. uh, but let's uh, get this going here. So here is my founder. And the way the founders work is you have an ability that you can use once per game. So Thomas Jefferson, once per game, instead of deploying a card from your hand, you may deploy two points worth of troops from any local force pool into an adjacent conflict zone. So that's pretty good. Uh, so if I really wanted to get these two militia into here, I could just play that and then rotate it. Now I'm trying to, now someone could let me know in the comments here. I couldn't find it in the rules. Is this in addition to playing a card? I assume it is. Okay. And then Julie's token, I'm sorry, <laughs> a founder is Benjamin Franklin. Once per game, instead of playing a card, you may move one allied fleet from any region, including a resolved one. So this is where that breaks that rule where you cannot usually move troops from a resolved region, at least Americans can't, uh, to another region. So this could be useful if we want to move a fleet to somewhere else. And then uh, let's take a look at the, the turn sequence. So American players will reveal and play the top card from the British draw deck. So like like other cooperative games like Pandemic, we're going to resolve, we're going to turn it over and carry out the card as best we can. Now things that can mess that up 
is that on the board, if there's a, something under blockade, in other words, one of our allies is blockading the area. So notice fleet tokens have this little curve right there. Okay. Uh, or the, the region is resolved. But basically, we're going to usually typically be able to carry out all the, the stuff on a card unless the, the card is directing us to do something in a region where something has been resolved or there's a blockade. Uh, then we would take one of the following actions. So if I'm first as Thomas Jefferson, I'll play a card from my hand or I'll promote a militia or a veteran. Now, this is something that I didn't do too well the first few times we played this. If I have a militia here, I can discard one card and I, I get to, see, I'm going to start out with three. Okay. And I'll get to see what they are. I can discard it. And by the way, you lose if you run out of cards. The American players will lose mm -hmm. if you run out of cards. And same with the, if the British deck gets, uh, if there's nothing left in the British deck as well. Uh, but anyways, I can play a card and promote this militia and we'll go back into the local force pool to a regular army, which would make it a two point army. And then on a, another turn, I can promote that regular to a veteran. Now, something that's something I haven't done. That's a three-point army. Now, why is that a good thing to do? Because then I can go through this deck, not the discard pile, the, the deck, and find a card I need. There are certain cards that you're going to want to play first, such as uh, I may need to have a Native American in the, in the conflict zone for the French to come in and help. Okay. But if I don't have a card to, to put that Native American into that area, then I'm not going to be able to play that French card. So there's certain cards that you're going to want to search for. And again, that's part of learning the game. And I don't know the game as well as I should probably to take advantage of that. But it seems like in order to win, you're going to have to promote uh, militia to regulars and regulars to veterans and then use that draw a card out of the deck. All right, so you get three cards each. So in cooperative mode, unlike solitaire mode, the advantage that we have is that we can help each other out. Uh, we know what's in each other's hands. Okay, you are able to do what's called table talk. And I'm going to have to move this over a little bit more here. Okay. It's Even though, you more helping me than me helping you. <laughs> well, yeah, you know, this. Uh, that's one thing about uh, a lot of cooperative games. You can get what's called an alpha player where the alpha player is really directing things well and this is your kind of game i don't usually like these kind of games so well you're willing to try it i'm willing to try but and i'm I, this is not my kind of so game <laughs> but it's not a traditional war game where you're rolling lots of uh let me zoom out a little bit here okay i thought i'd be able to fit this in better oh there we go there you go all right so it's not a traditional hex, what's called hex and shit game, where you have a bunch of say? shit. Oh. You know, little pieces. Oh, okay. Where you, you would move pieces around on a board, mm. and you'd have to count up points, I and you check a table and roll the dice. I see. You've, that, that squad leader, honey. Oh. Something that you would probably not want to play, but you saw us play a I lot. I saw you play one. Yes. Yes. Not my cup of tea at all. Nope. I know it wasn't your cup of tea. That's why you haven't played that. No, no, no. Right, so you thought I said something else. I did. You said shit. <laughs> I did. I thought. C-H-I-T. I said, oh, my gosh, she just swore. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we have our three cards each. Here's my founder. Here's Julie's founder. Remember, they can use your ability once each. Uh, if I go back to the board, we have all the units. Here's the local units in these boxes. Uh, oops, got to put this back. Here are the conflict zones. Remember, we got to get four out of six to win. Here's the turn sequence. Now, this turn sequence here is for the verses and mastermind mode, which we haven't even tried yet. So we're just doing this mode. And here are the, the British forces, which can only be interrupted if there's a blockade there or there's a, or if the, if the, if the re region has been resolved, it can mess up with things. All right, so... Just to verify on the victory conditions, uh, does it say game end? So it says right here. Just want to make sure all regions are resolved. And by the way, if the decks run run out and we haven't resolved the region, guess who wins it? The British will. Mm -hmm. if we haven't resolved it. Okay. The British run out of cards. Once the British plays their last card, 
the current active American finishes their last card or the Americans run out, run out of all cards. Now we can run out of cards quicker if we're discarding them because we're all, oh, I didn't point this out. You got to discard two cards to promote a regular to a veteran. Oh. But then you get to go through the deck and look for a card. Oh, one. right, right, right. So I did not say that specifically. That's okay. You did now. Okay. So here we go. Here's the first. Oh, they go first? Yes, they do. Okay. See? Reveal and play the top card from the British draw deck. All right. So here we go. Okay. Let's see what we got here. All right. So Canada, the loyalists. Now, we don't worry about the special ability here. Uh, by the way, there is a typo here. There's supposed to be a comma here. If Canada is resolved, comma, that is in the rule book. By oh, the way. okay. Because it's kind of hard to read without that comma. you got to keep on reminding yourself. Sure. Uh, so we don't worry about this ability until Canada is resolved. So uh, if it was, these loyalists might go somewhere else. Okay. Mm. And we'll worry about that later, how they're assigned. Okay. So basically, I mean, again, it's very simple. They put two points of loyalists in there. So we're, we're already losing Canada. But they got to get eight points in there and beat us by two. All right, so I'm going first here. Now, Minutemen is really nice to have, but we only have two, four, six, eight, and it's possible to run out of those if you over-assign them. And remember, once they get assigned to a region that's been resolved, there's only one card that will pull a that's unit on there. Right? Oh, that's that's for you. Oh, oh yeah, De Julie has a Declaration of Independence card. So this is the only card that could pull a unit out of something that's been resolved. Okay, uh, so I got option one here. I can deploy a Minutemen, and then I could reorder the top three cards of the American deck, forcing the American player to secretly reveal their loyalty. So option two is only in the, 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 the mode that you play with the trader mode. We're not playing that. So option two, we, we ignore. So we can remove one deployed two-point British troop from either Canada, New England, or Northern colonies, except Native Americans, or we can deploy a Minutemen. Now, this one I might want to go here. Yeah. And remove that, and we, maybe we try to go for uh, Canada. Sure. Now, this is here. You look at here. It can only be deployed in a region with Native Americans, this French. Mm. So this is where if we, de we we promote something to a veteran, we might have to look for a card in here to, de to deploy a Native American. Because otherwise, see. this card, this is a good unit to have. It's a two-point French unit. Sure. So do you, want us, do you yeah. want us to? Okay, so we'll do this one. It's an event. So we're going to remove one deployed... So when I say remove it, I assume. Take it away forever. It's, it's taken off the board. It doesn't, it's not clear on that unless it's in the rules here. We haven't played this card before. Mm -mm. Let me see if it says stolen artillery, if it's taken out of the game. Hmm. I don't see stolen artillery. Okay. So it's one of those things you're just going to have to make a call. I say we take it out. I think it's just taken out of the game. Yeah. Maybe someone could let us know. So I put this here. I draw a new card. Oh, good. I can assign a Dutch fleet. That would be really important to blockade that. Okay. So they've lost the two points there. Now it's Julie's turn. Okay, you ready? Okay. All right, Northern Colonies are getting Hessians. Okay. Now we do have to read the card. To draw and deploy an additional card. So this is kind of a bummer. Uh -huh. Now they say in the historical notes in the game mm -hmm. that uh, Hessians were really feared. So that's what it's simulating here, oh. that the Hessians were, you know, would beat up on us. Oh. All right, so they go into the Northern Colony right here. So if this was blockaded... Yeah. Then they wouldn't be able to go in there. Oh. But, you know, that's the way it goes. Sure. And then now we draw another card and resolve it. Okay. Okay, New England is now going to get Dragoons. Oh. So if New England is under blockade or, uh, res or resolves, or resolves, you need to come there. Station. So that we don't have to worry about that yet. We'll go over that later. Okay. So unfortunately, the British got to draw to take two actions. Oh, darn. So we're already losing these two. And that's going to happen. We're going to get beat up yeah. for a while. All right. So now Julie's going to go. Oh, we don't draw. We just play a card. 
You, uh, let's look here. You got Paul Revere. You can deploy to Newland, Force March. So one deployed American troop up to two points from any unresolved region. So if this means that, well, we can't use that card yet. We don't have any deployed troops yet. Oh. All we did was remove. Okay. Uh, what if we do this one? Yeah, we deploy a Native American. This would be good because it will help my French. Okay. So, and then here, reenlistment. Probably want to keep the Declaration of Independence until we play uh, Common Sense because this card is better if Common Sense event okay. is played first because that came out first before the Declaration of Independence. The common Sense was written to, to encourage people to fight uh, for freedom. It was written by Thomas Paine. All right, so... Southern Colony, mm -hmm. you're going to play? Mm -hmm. And you came up with it on your own. You, you said you wanted to do that. So so I'm not being too much of an alpha, right? No. Do we win that now? No, we need no. to get eight more points here. Oh, okay. You got to get eight points, and they have to have six or less. Okay. Okay. Got it. Now, it might be ten. We have ten, and they have eight. Yeah. Okay. But we played it. Yep. You get a new card. Okay. And not on a militia. Okay. And that's nice, because we can go, we can put it anywhere we need to. All right. All right, so Julie now. No, I mean, on my turn. Oh, uh -oh. See, we're getting beat up some more. Darn. And we're gonna they're gonna play two cards. So mm -hmm. they get Hessians in the Southern Colony. Okay. And <clears throat> they draw another card. So you mm -hmm. know cool. this is a card game. You can get unlucky. And in Canada, we, they get their other loyalists. Oh. Yeah, but they only have they don't have Native Americans left there. But they might get. Uh, Grenaders oh. or these other units coming in. Okay. All right. So we can put the French here. Sure. Or we can do a blockade. I say we blockade a region. Okay. To prevent them from putting more troops in. Okay. Now, based on the deck. <clears throat> now, look, he's going to. If he draws a fleet card, he's going to neutralize or blockade. Mm. So part of this is timing. There's a lot of cards left here. Right. We blockades aren't going to stop local forest deployment. Oh. We could go here mm -hmm. and hope that we can get more stuff into Canada. Or we can go here and try to win the southern colonies as quick as possible. And then I could deploy the French the following turn. Okay. What do you want to do? What you just said. All right. So we're going to put the Dutch here. And so now uh, Southern colonies are blockaded. Let's block, have a blockade, I should say. <laughs> and here's my next card. Now, there is no troops for us to promote. I don't have any militia here to promote to regular or veteran. We don't, now, Julie has a card to do that on her turn, so then we could start looking into doing that. Uh, but right now, we don't have anything. We only have one troop right here. All right, so on Julie's turn, what do we got here? Yes, here we go. Mid-Atlantic, they're going to deploy their loyalists. It's the same type of card. And okay. we don't worry about the ability unless the Mid-Atlantic was resolved. So you see how the British are just dominating. That's what happens at first. And then, uh, Julie, you have... Okay, where do you want to deploy it? Mm -hmm. You want to deploy it in the southern I guess colonies? There. Yeah. Okay. Just only one. I can't. That's do all this? you get is one. Oh, okay. Now, on my turn, I could promote that militia to a regular, but I have to discard a card to do that. Oh, but okay. That's okay. We may, may we may want to do that. Okay. And your next card is a uh, Minuteman. You can march them. Uh, you deploy a Minuteman and move one deployed American troop up to two points from any resolved region. So this is. If we why do we have cards like this? Because you can find out that you're probably going to lose a region. You can pull them out before the region was resolved. Mm. So let's say we're going to start. We're going to lose the southern colonies. Let's say he dumps a bunch of troops in there and it's at six. We may want to play this card to get some of our stuff out there before he gets another two point army in there and takes it over. So okay. that's why you have cards like that. You move your troops around when you think you're going to lose the region. Ah, uh, okay. All right. So that was your turn. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's see what we got here. All right, this is not afraid of grenaders. They're nasty, like the Hessians. Okay, deploy in the region not under blockade where the British are closest to losing. 
or at least ahead by points. So, and then at the last, now this only applies if there's a bunch, a bunch of regions that are resolved and they can force through a blockade, but we don't have to worry about that right now. But it does say here, uh, deploy a veteran grenader if another grenader is already in the target region. So instead of it being a two-point unit, if there's already one here, for instance, it could be a three-point unit. And you deploy a three-point unit in there instead of a two-point unit. So if there's already one in there. So that card, that's what I'm saying. Grenaders can be really nasty. Yeah. Now, so where are we going? The card says in the area that they're losing the most, that's not under uh, point of region, not under blockade. So it can't be the southern calling. Where the British are closer to losing or at least ahead by points. So two, 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 zero. And it can't go here because it'll blockade. So they're going to go here. Mm. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Hopefully I played that right. Mm -hmm. uh, it's my turn, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So we want to get the French and can only be deployed in a region with Native American. So let's do that. The French come in. Okay. We have four versus two. We just need four more here. Okay. To win that. All right. So where's my next card? Uh, it's a deployed a militiaman. So yeah, we have four versus two. We need four more points there. Okay. Okay, on your turn. Yep. Okay, now this is where we're going to lose our blockade. Oh no. But at least we kept out the uh, the grenader. Oh good. Okay, counter blockade. Let's take a look at this. Okay. Otherwise, deploy an unresolved region starting with the lowest number. When it says lowest number, see how these are numbered? One, two, three, four, mm -hmm. five, six. So if there wasn't already a fleet, a, one of our fleets here, it would go up here to Canada automatically. Oh. So they broke the blockade, which means now this region they can dump troops in again. But at least we prevented one turn from a grenader going there. True. So you are next yes. what do you want to do this one? well we don't get to force march ability we don't have any deployed units anywhere else so, uh, so i guess over here hmm or do you just want to get rid of a well deploy unit of force march one deploy american troop two points and then move one deploy american troop up these are all good cards you have here i don't know we're going to have to play one of them uh, I don't know. We have maybe this one because he'll be good over here in New England eventually. Okay. Let's do that one. The Light Calvary. Okay. That's to any, though. Maybe this is better because this gives us more options. Okay. Yeah. So let's do that. All right. Now, we could promote this instead to a two. If you want to. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. That way we have. Sure. And that um, way I can go to a veteran there and get maybe draw, get a card that we want. I don't know. Maybe yeah, that sounds good. Maybe it's not good to do it too early. Eh, sounds good. Oh, you have the siege. That would be good to lock up the British later. Okay. All right. So that was your turn? Yep. My turn? And your turn. Okay. Tidewater. The Loyalists go in. So it's four versus nothing. Mm. Maybe we do a siege there and make them dump more stuff in. Good. But that's your card, not mine. That All was right. your card. Oh, I see what I you're mean, saying. You have yeah, the yeah, siege yeah. card. I got it. Okay. Now I can deploy a minute man and then reorder our top three. Now, if I were to play two cards, I could promote this guy and then look for a card. But I don't know what card to get unless right. we want to get a uh, uh, another fleet. Mm. Or do we just want to dump a guy in? Just dump a guy in. Okay. Well, let's do a minute, man, so we can rearrange our deck. Okay. Okay. So so now we have two, four, six. And we get to look at the three cards. All right. One, two, three. See, uh, can only be deployed in a region with an allied fleet. So this would be a good one to mm -hmm. have here on top. Mm -hmm. And we definitely want to get Native Americans out. Mm hmm so and this is again another rearrange which we don't need to rearrange right away so mm -hmm. 
Okay, so here we go. Maybe you want to go somewhere else, and I'll get that French one out on okay. my turn. Sure. Uh, all right. So on Julie's turn, well, Canada, and it's like one card from your hand and place it at the bottom of the American draw deck. So this is what happens: the Native Americans come out, and then Julie, you got to put something on the bottom. Do you want to? Maybe that's a Declaration of Independence. That's a good card, though. Do you want to do Let's the Force do this Mars? One, yeah. Okay. So, oops. I do I get another card? At the end of the turn. Oh, okay. So, this slows us down. Now, we could look for this later if we promote a regular to a veteran. Okay. Okay. So, where do you want to siege? Let's take a look here. We could. What looks like that we're going to get beat up on? Well, Canada and this place, definitely. So you want to do want to siege Tidewater? Yeah. Okay. So sure. we have two points there, but now it takes twelve to win it. So. Oh. So hopefully we can dump more stuff into there. Okay. Maybe we're doing this too early. So we played the siege. So just so you know what it says. Automatically increase the victory total to win the region to twelve. With two, you know, you still need to have two points clear. In other words, if I have twelve, the British can't have more than ten. Okay. All right. So now you get two cards. Remember, we still have our special ability that we haven't used All yet. All right. Okay. So on my turn, British go. And they get to our loyalists into New England. Okay. And a special ability only comes into play if it's been resolved or if it's been resolved. Okay. All right. So we can win our first region here. Yay. Dump the French in. Okay. So here's the thing, though. This is what happens. We got eight here, right? We mm -hmm. want it, but we won't be able to get those guys out of there unless we play the Declaration of Independence card. Okay. So they're pretty much stuck. So we play it. And why were we able to play it? Because we have a fleet deployed here. It can only be deployed in a region with an allied fleet. And that's why we took advantage of that. So we have, we won our first region, but we have to win three more. Mm. So now, this is what happens. If the Southern Colony, uh, England Southern Colony card comes up, and it will say if the region's been resolved, these local units might be to resolve, might move somewhere else. So now you're going to see the other half of this text come into play now if we draw the uh, Southern Colonies card. Okay. All right, so I'm going to go here. Good. We got. We can do a, a blockade somewhere. Good. All right. Here's your card. Okay. Admiral. All right. So they're going to they counter a blockade. There's no blockade to counter. Otherwise, deploy fleet in the unresolved region, starting with the lowest number, and then return all militia deployed in the target region to the local force pool. So what does that mean? This blockade has been resolved. They've already broken it. So we go to the lowest, which is a one. So they go here. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and if there was a militia here, mm -hmm. a blue one, it would have gone back into the local pool. But there wasn't one there. So they didn't get to use that ability. Oh, good. All right. So we have. I do that one. Want to do the Native American one? Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's from the New England local force pool. All right. So it's good that we can we haven't lost this yet. We can use that card. All right, so you get another card. Okay. A militia. We can play that anywhere we want. Okay. All right. So that was on your turn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's your My turn. My turn. Northern colonies. So they deploy their militia there. Not militia, I mean their loyalists. They're done. So now your turn. We probably want to do a blockade somewhere to try to mess them up again. Okay. Want to go to New England? Sure. Because we're already committing troops there. Okay. So might as well try to keep them out. Hopefully they don't get another fleet. Yeah. Because they get another fleet, but basically... Yeah. Oh, deploy one allied fleet and remove one British fleet in target region. Oh, I didn't read the card. 
We could go to Canada. Let's go to Canada, Canada. yeah. But then we don't have anybody there. Oh. Uh, let's do it. What the heck? Okay, so we remove it. Okay. So these have been removed. All right, so I get a new card. Spanish, Colombia deployed in a region with an allied fleet. So it's good that we do that. We yep. can go to Canada with that guy. Nice. Right, your turn. Okay. Tidewater. Ah, see, we're tying up their troops. Good. It's not under blockade, so we don't have to worry about it or resolved. So good. Dump troops, your dragoons, into Tidewater. Remember, they need 12 to win. Right. And this is, was part of what happened in the war. The British were concentrating a lot of troops into the in New York area, and then we won the battle of Yorktown, and they surrendered a large army. And that's when they kind of said, hey, we're wasting a lot of resources trying to win this revolution. Mm. Even though, they, like I said, they had a lot of troops in the colonies. They decided yeah. just to give up. Hmm. Uh, but then they tried to take us back in 1812, you know, 27 years later. Right. Okay. Was that my turn or your turn? My turn. It was on your turn. Well, we want to go into Canada, right? I guess this one then. Right? Well, it's one militia, and we have a regular army unit there. Oh. That's the Declaration of Independence. We can play a Minute Man and okay. rearrange the cards. All right, let's do that. Or we can place one or three cards at the bottom of the British draw deck and then return the remaining two cards in any order. But then we won't be playing a troop. Then. I think we do that one. Okay. Rearrange the cards before. Oh, this is weird. It has this little text here. It seems like it should be right here. But look at the top three cards of the British deck. It, then choose one of the options. Uh, so we will rearrange them and place a, a militia. Okay. No, minute man. Minute, minute man. Okay. So we have one in Canada. Yay. We look at the top three here. Okay. And what we want to do is rearrange it in a way that slows them down. All right. Yeah, like here, we don't... Uh, we don't want that fleet coming in mm -mm. into Canada, so we'll definitely leave it on the bottom. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the point of the region, not under blockade, where the British are closest to losing, or at least ahead by points. So we want this to come first. Okay. Because they won't be able to. They're Canada. They, they might have sent it to Canada. And here's the northern colonies. Looks like we might be losing northern colonies too. It's like one card from your hand and place at the bottom of the deck. All these cards are terrible. <laughs> Looks like we're going to lose the northern colony. Uh, well, at least we won't, at least we can put the fleet on the bottom. Yeah. Okay. I guess we'll just do that order. Okay. So here's your card. French, where there's Native Americans on the side. So we got to get that to happen. Okay. Okay. So here's a card that comes up that I put on the top. Okay. So deploy in the region not under blockade where the British are closest to losing. That's, this is, so they're closest to losing this one in New England. All right. Okay. So they go here, they have six. And it would deploy as a veteran if there was already one there. Mm -hmm. It makes me wonder. I'll show you what I'm going to think about doing here. Do I deploy oh, with an allied fleet? Okay, yeah, that's into Canada. We definitely want to do that. Okay. Okay. All right, so the Spanish help us out in Canada. So we have three there. Here's the next card. Northern colonies, we can get our Native American troop there. Okay. Uh, oops, so for you. Northern colonies, get a Native American now. See how we're just getting beat up everywhere? Yep. Uh, select one card from your hand and place it at the bottom of the American draw deck before playing or discarding cards. 
I'm gonna play with Native Americans. If you wanna, I'll get rid of the militia, I guess. Or, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll play, play that guy. Yeah. Might as well go into the sure. area where we in New England. Maybe we can fight fight it back. Okay. So we've just committed all of our allies <laughs> to do all the fighting for us. Well, that's very kind. But we might want to move some forces, but okay. it has to be an American troop to us. We don't have many American troops out right now. Mm -mm. we got to definitely get more out. Yes, we do. We're committing all of our uh, allies. Yeah. Okay. So that was your turn? Yep. My turn. Now here's where the fleet. Counter blockade. So they're going to go to Canada. Go to Canada. Okay. So they just broke the blockade in Canada. Darn it. Well, I don't, uh, we did at least keep out their grenaders out of Canada. That's true. So that was good. Yeah, but then they might lose that still. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we have to get some uh put any militia from its local force built towards conflict zone. So let's do that. I'll, okay. I'm gonna deploy. You know, I want to use. I'm going to deploy uh, this here. Okay. This minute, I mean, this militia. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to use Thomas Jefferson's ability. What does he do? Once per game, instead of deploying a card from your hand, oh, instead of deploying, maybe I'll do that the next turn. I'll deploy uh, up here in Canada. Okay. That's right here. Oh, okay. So I'll wait. Okie dokie. So I have a that card. So your turn. So All we right. don't know what this card is going to be. Nope, it's a secret. Northern colonies. Oh gosh. So they just won. Uh, yes, they did. They got eight in here. We didn't get anybody in there. Nope. So British control of the northern colonies. Can we move our people from there? Uh, yeah, there are some cards that can that can move them out of the uh, the local force box. At okay. least we didn't commit anybody here. Yeah. So that's a good thing. Otherwise, you'd be trapped there. Right. So to speak. Okay. So for <clears throat> you, deploy a minimum, then look at the at and if desired, reorder the top three cards of the American draw. You want to do that? Yeah. One? Let's do that. So where do you want to go? You want to go into Canada or New England? We got four and we have three. Uh, well, they both need lots of help, right? This one, if they get one more in there, we're, we're done. We're a goner. Let's do Canada then. Okay, Canada. In other words, just having five in there. Uh, they can get one more, and then we just wasted that minute, man. Yeah, let's not do that. I don't know. Maybe we should. Maybe we shouldn't. Well, we'll, we'll find, find out. out. Okay, so you got another militiaman. Don't we do something with the cards too? Oh yeah, thank you. You get to look at. We get to rearrange them. Oh, this is what we need. Okay. Canada. In fact, we were supposed to do that before I drew. Oh. Oh well, I'm not supposed to know that Canada came up. <laughs> <laughs> so. We got, we'll put Canada on the top, that Canada okay. card. Deploy one militia as usual, then move one militia from local force pole. Okay, so that could be good. Yeah. All right. Did you do it the right way? Yes. Okay. I need a card now. So now you get that Canada card. Oh, okay. So we kind of know that the other one's coming up. <laughs> okay, on my turn. Oh, that's funny. Do, 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 do. Mid Atlantic. You get a Dragoon. In Mid Atlantic, there's no blockade there, so it gets in. Okay, what are you gonna do? Okay, now this is where using Thomas Jefferson's ability once per game, instead of deploying a card from your hand, you may deploy two points worth of troops from any local force pool into the adjacent conflict zone. Mm. I think we're gonna do that because we don't know that card's coming up, right? Okay, remember I talked about doing that, right? Right, you did. So we were playing the ability. 
So now we have two, four, six versus four. You see two more points in there. Maybe you'll be able to do it on your turn. Okay. We'll see. Uh, and then that's it. You I don't used... get another card? No, because I used this ability instead oh. of playing a card. So that kind of, remember I said in the beginning here, there's not much rules in the game about using founder's abilities. I assume it's you can use it any time on your turn. Mm -hmm. That card says that you do it instead of playing a card, which oh. means that Benjamin Franklin, mm -hmm. it looks like you, it says instead of playing a card. So some of the founders that we played with before didn't say instead of playing a card. Oh, so the you. rules are on the uh, the founder card. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So on your turn. Yes. Southern Colonies. Okay. So this is where we get into the ability rules. Okay. It is resolved. Yep. So station in the local force pool of the lowest numbered unresolved region, not under blockade. So it didn't re so this was good in a sense that the British are going to waste a turn. So it goes on top right here. Oh. Moving them all the way up here to oh Canada. Because it's the lowest unresolved region. Oh, on one. right, right. On the one. And next turn it will go in there. So I gave us one turn to try to get more troops in there. Okay. Okay. Well, Which is good. Put that guy in. Now let me see if, uh, yeah, because I'll be able to get a Minuteman in there, depending on what. Yeah. So we're going to be able to take Canada for sure, because you're going to put one in there, and mm -hmm. I'll be able to put one in another turn, uh, because they're only going to have six. Okay. So yes, definitely. You're going to play your Canada mm -hmm. uh, Native American. You get get in there. You get a new card. Okay. You have, uh, you can move things around. Oh. Okay. Okay. So now, on my turn, this troop gets put in there, which is fine. I don't care that it's a six. Okay. Because we are going to uh deploy a minute man and move one deployed american troop up to two points from any unresolved region or we'll do this one here okay rearrange the, the three british cards so here right. we go in here mm -hmm. minute man goes in here that's three four they six, can't eight. see sweetie oh yeah thank you <laughs> you're welcome three four six eight Versus six, so we have two more points than the British. We have eight units in there, so we got it. Yay. We see two more. Okay. Okay. So this got played. We look at the top three here and rearrange them. Okay. Let's see what we got. What do we get? Mid Atlantic, which we're getting our butts kicked. Yeah, we are. A fleet. We're not going to get another fleet, so we're probably. Uh, I don't care if they put a fleet in uh, New England because we're not going to get another fleet card okay. coming up anytime soon. Tidewater, though, that is a good card to have next. Okay. And Mid Atlantic. So actually, this is not too bad. I don't know. Tidewater, they'll win. We don't want them to win. If they go into here, they're going to win that. Yeah. But we, we might not that. be able to avoid that. Well, if it we happens, may, it happens. We may just have to give it up. Yeah. May not be able no, to actually, fight. they won't because it's a siege, remember? They got to put 12 units in. Oh, yeah. So we'll have Mid Atlantic come last. Okay. And a fleet going up here. Yeah. That's where it's going to go. Who cares? Because we can put this maybe somewhere else. Sure. Okay. So was that on my turn? Yes. Yes, it was. So here's my card I draw a Militia. So as we already put on top, they move their fleet to the lowest unresolved region right here just fine yeah okay so you well let's look at the board real quick we have four here mm -hmm. here's six now we could reassign stuff here move stuff around but then we can't move our foreign units so we probably have we probably should stick with that one and try to win so just do that one for this one deployment militia The only problem is if they get up into New England, we lose everything there. 
Because mm -hmm. it's right now six versus four. If they get eight versus four, they win it. Well, why don't we do the Mid Atlantic then? Uh, let's see what is Declaration of Independence to do again? Force Mart's one American troop up to two points. Or if three points is a common sense from a resolve reason. So let's do that. Okay. Sure. Think this is the time to do that because we could take it from Canada. Okay. That works for me. Okay. So this is why it's good to play this because we have a two point unit right here just sitting here. It goes into here. Uh, if it, we could have done three points, but we don't have a veteran unit. So mm -hmm. that's okay. So now we're tied. So even if, well, if they get one more in there, though, we're screwed. But they won't because we know what next card is. Okay. All right. So, yeah, it's okay. And, oh, there's that Canada card. So we'll probably do that to raise a unit up. Okay. All right. So, Tidewater. All right. So. They're committing units. and have to be 12, so that's good. They're wasting their time there because we're sieging them. All right. And can you win New England? Well, I can deploy the last militia. At least if they get another two point unit in there, they can't win it because it'd be eight versus seven. Okay. Or what about your cavalry? And I'm thinking, yeah, that's good if we have another unit somewhere else where we don't. Okay. So we'll do this to militia. All right. Well, that's good to mention that, but we you have to have other units. That would have been good, mm -hmm. but we don't have any units to deploy there. Oh. It would have been good to play that cavalry card. Yeah. Because then we could have put the Minutemen in there and then brought up another unit, but mm. we don't have any units there. Okay. So, okay. Either way, no matter what we do, it's going to be seven. Okay. Even if we promote that to a veteran. All right. All right. So that's the next card I got. And we already know what's coming here. Mid-Atlantic gets this. Yep. So there we go. And so that you want to play that minute, man. Okay. Canada is not going to help us. This is to use to basically to promote a regular to oh, a, okay. a, a militia to a regular. Okay. And deploy a militia as usual and then move one militia from any local force pool to an adjacent. You can do that later. Okay. Because, yeah, we don't have any militia there. So it has to be a minute man. Okay. So now we want it. So three, five, six, seven, eight. Nice. Okay. So we have three. Just need one more. Okay. And we're getting down in cards. Here we are. Now we don't know what's going to come up. Oh, that's right. We can totally get hosed here. I hope not. <laughs> All right. Well, that's not too bad. Mm. Hopefully. Counter blockade, otherwise deploy in unresolved region, starting with the lowest number. Boop, boop. See, resolve, resolve, resolve. Oh, yeah. Goes here. Okay. Replace all deployed militia in a target region with Minutemen. So that's interesting because they say we had those two there and mm -hmm. we didn't have enough Minutemen. Mm -hmm. We could have lost troops. Oh. But luckily, we don't even have anybody there. So oh, that's didn't, good. It didn't hurt us at all. Good. That was on my turn, right? Uh, yeah, it's your turn to play a card. Okay, so we have Mid-Atlantic and Tidewater. Mm -hmm. So this card is useless unless... Uh, the reason why I'm saying it's useless is because I can discard a card, right, to promote a militia to a regular, but I don't have anybody there yet. So mm -hmm. i got to get somebody there. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to do this one. Okay. Reconcentration. This allows me to put a militia, uh, uh, a militia there, mm -hmm. and then move, deploy one, uh, then move one militia from any local force pool to any adjacent local force pool. 
So we can move them there because Yay. even though this is resolved, yeah, they can come out of the local force pool. Okay. It's when they're it's when they're in the conflict box that you can't. Do oh, that. Okay. at least I think I'm playing that right. I'm sure that whoever's watching this yeah, you can tell <laughs> later on will tell us if we messed up. <laughs> if they're watching this whole video, maybe they're taking notes, huh? Oh, I don't know. Oh, here we go. That's an interesting card. I haven't seen, women at war. We haven't seen that one yet. Oh, that's cool. Okay. So on your turn. Okay. Southern colonies. Okay, so this is where we get a little bit of a reprieve here. Remember, this goes to of the lowest number unresolved region, not under blockade. So it's going to go over here. Even though that ship is there? That's their ship. Oh, okay. But it won't be on the following turn. So that gives us, we're going to lose that. Unless, unless you have a card, because look, it's going to go in there and be eight. So that means we're going to have to focus our energies here. Okay. Well, I have the, that reconcentration that you had. We could do that. Or I have yeah. the Tidewater. Well, the Tidewater is good, definitely. We want to keep that. Play one militia as usual, then move one militia from any local all oh, to an adjacent. Hmm. So couldn't we move that up there? Hang Isn't that it adjacent? Moving a fleet's not going to help us mm -mm. unless we get a second fleet here. We can get a, if we we can move a fleet with Benjamin Franklin and get a second fleet here, but that's too many turns away. We don't yeah. know if we're going to get that card. In other words, you can do this. Oh yeah. Uh, Canada yeah. card is not useful right now. Deploying the American. I mean. Yeah, American. Well, we'll just do this then. Yeah. Okay. So the reason why we're doing this, we are going to lose this. We deploy the militia, okay, mm -hmm. and we move one from an adjacent to here. One militia is usual, then move one militia from any local force, pull to an adjacent one. Okay, yeah, we're going to lose that. Oh, well. Okay, so you got crossing the Delaware. It's force march. We'll look at that later. Okay. Okay, so this happens. And they won that. Interesting that it's coming down right here. And that's, there was a siege at Yorktown, which is up here. But the point is, they have two, four, six, eight. They need four. But we also need uh, four. Oh. I mean, we need 12, too. So it's coming down to this last battle. Whoever can get 12 there first. Let me see. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we have two here, though. Mm. The siege makes us three. Okay. All right. So that was on my turn, right? Yeah. All right. Let's look at this card here. Promote two militia deployed in the same region. That means you can move them up or deploy a Minuteman. I think we need to get another Yeah. on your card here. Next turn, you can play that. Okay. Deploy a Miniman and then move one deployed American troop up to two points from any unresolved region. There you go. Let's do the Native American one because it, okay. we, don't, we don't have, well, yeah, let's do the Native American one. All right. Well, yeah. Okay. I don't want to think about it too much here. Yeah. It's, it's not worth it to get all stressed over. <laughs> we did get our Spanish fleet card. Okay. So it might be worth putting Ben there. Sure. Which would one reason why we won Yorktown is because we had, I think it was the French fleet that prevented them from retreating. Okay. So, British go? Yep. Southern colonies. So it cannot go into the southern colonies. Uh, stationed in the local force pool, the lowest numbered unresolved region. So it goes right here. And then it will go in next turn. So we get a turn at least delay. Yeah. But then they're going to have 10 there. All right. For you, we got to get this militia in. Okay. So then I can promote it with the women at war. All right. Okay. Yep. So crossing Delaware, if, the, if deployed in the northern colonies, force march, one deployed American troop up to two points. Well, we're not doing the northern colonies, but at least we get to place in the militia. Then. Okay. We just don't get the added ability. All right. So 
and then I'm going to remember we have two, three, four, five, and I'm going to raise those up. Okay. Sounds good. You got another Culper ring. It's just okay. Minutemen. All right. So on my turn, this gets deployed. They have two, four, six, eight, ten. They need only two more to defeat us. Let's see if we can do it here. I'll play a woman at war. Okay. Promote two militias deployed in the same region. Yes, definitely going to do that. So these come out and these come in. Two, four, six, seven. Will we be able to do it? I don't know. We don't know. <laughs> okay, I got another militia. Nice. Let's see what happens. This could be the end of us. Because okay. if they get something into Tidewater, we're done. Yep. New England. Whew. Yeah, but it's only a delay. Oh. <laughs> it goes here. And then we have one turn delay before we lose. So, I have what do you have here? Deploy a Minuteman. Deploy a Minuteman, didn't look at. Yeah. That's it. Deploy American. We are, already, did that. already did that. And the cannon one doesn't help. Now, we could raise up something to a three. Okay. Let me see here. Two, four, six, seven. That would make it an eight. It still wins. We have to get something worth two in there. Oh, even then, it won't matter. Two, four, six, seven. That's going to come in. Two, four, six, eight, ten. We'd have to have something that there is a card that allows it to go here mm -hmm. on our side, but we don't have that card. Whatever you want to do is fine with me. Yeah, it's not going to. It's not going to matter. Well, just to show how it works, we'll play these two cards. You're close. Yep. This becomes a veteran. Okay. Just go away. We're going to search for that card where we can turn a loyalist into. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the next card. Recruit a loyalist. Move one deployed loyalist from the British <laughs> side. Oh, I'm not even showing it here. Okay, we'll take that card, but it's. <laughs> Too late. Too late. And then we shuffle. You get that card. Okay. And then this comes into play. And they won. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 versus 2, 4, 7, 8. We lost. If we, if we could have played this card sooner, we could have won it. That's all right. So. Take a look at the board again. One, two, three. British had three. I'm sure people who's more experienced at this game could let us know in the comments. There's something we could have did better. Maybe we did something wrong. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, but yeah, let us know. And you know, you were making a lot of your decisions. You knew what card to play. I just was going by the color thing and like. Well, oh, that's okay. good though. But you knew what you need to put in there. But this is our third time playing. My only my second. You've played this. No, one. we played the first time. When we thought it was, you only needed eight oh, points total, yeah. not eight on one side. So one thing that I read wrong is that we thought you needed only eight points total of both forces combined, oh, right, not yeah. eight points on one side. Yes. In order to take it. So this is your third time playing. And so probably you, my last time. This is a very long game for me. Well, I'm, it would go quicker, not on camera. Yeah, but I it it was fine. I mean, yeah. I I appreciated David's help a lot and. It was interesting, his facts, as we were playing. I thought that was, honestly, I thought that was very interesting. Yeah, I'm not an expert, though, on American Revolution. No, but what uh, you did tell, talk about, I thought was was really cool. So I, I know a lot about World War II, having written the Weird Wars Russian Front book for Pinnacle with my brothers. Yeah. I know a lot about that, especially the Russian Front. But I hope uh, you guys had fun playing with us, and please let us know if we messed up on yeah. anything. <laughs> yeah, because... Uh, I mean, it would have been nice if we could have did Benjamin Franklin yeah. and we could have gotten it over here, uh, at least one unit there. Oh, it might have helped a little. I don't know. Then that, if, yeah, if we would have had one fleet there, that unit could not have gotten in there. So maybe that's what we should have did different. Mm -hmm. That unit wouldn't have moved up. Yeah. Oh, well. But then we don't know it's you can waste your time doing that and their fleet comes in anyways and breaks a blockade anyway and then you would have to use another card to break that 
True. <laughs> so it's a lot has to do with knowing how well the deck works, which works. I'm still learning how the deck works. And I think you get better at this game the more you play it. I know we got further along now. Uh, so I think for those who persevere, you can definitely, this is not an easy game to win on your first time, that's for sure, or your second or third time. And I definitely recommend playing um, as, as a team the first oh, few times well, out. It does work well uh, solo. Oh, oh, that's right. You have done that. Well, I played two founders uh, once mm. on my own to make sure I was doing the rules right. All right. So that is In Strike American Revolution. Again, let us know in the comments if there's something that we overlooked. There might have been something I calculated wrong, too. You know, mm. I do make mistakes as, as we're playing. Everybody can make mistakes. Honey. Yes, I know. <laughs> All right. So thanks for watching. Thank you so much. Hope you guys have a great day. All right. Take care. Bye-bye.